I want to show you a very simple but useful Canva hack for getting thin lines, one that I use on almost any design that I put together. Let's get started. So as of this recording, uh, you can't currently set the thickness of the line you're using inside of Canva. You know, you can't just say one, two, three, or five and have it, you know, grow thicker or smaller. I think that's something they're going to fix in a future version, but as for now, isn't there. And sometimes you want a thinner line because it would just work better with the design. It's more refined or you just don't want the kind of thickness that they give by default. So you might think that, you know, you're just out of luck and there's not much you can do, but I actually have a really simple, easy hack that you can do. And I use this again on every design. In fact, you can see on most of the YouTube thumbnails that I put together, I use this exact thing. So all we're going to do is search for a line. And here we go. Here's kind of like the default one. And as I mentioned, uh, you cannot change its thickness, right? So I would, you know, kind of, well, kind of by default, what they would kind of expect you to do, if I want to have a line above and below, you know, you had to bring it to the right size and then you're stuck. So the way around it, and you saw me kind of already do it and you've, and you've probably played with it a bit, but I'm going to encourage you to take it further and that's to scale it and then widen it and then scale it and then widen it until you get the thickness that you want. So here, we, simple, as simple, grab the corner, scale it down. I'll get rid of the second one. And now bring it out and then grab the corner, scale it down and look how thin we can get. Look how great that is. Now at this stage, of course, we can't, it's so small, we can't see the tab on the right side to make it as long as we want. But that could be resolved simply enough if you just come down to the corner, uh, zoom way in. Looks like we have to go even further until you can see it. And in fact, now it's not showing me the tabs, but fortunately when I hovered over top, it allowed me to do it. So I'll hover over top, drag it wide as I need it, drag it as wide as I need it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get back to see the entire thing and look how thin that is compared to where we started. Now, an additional trick I'll say is if you want to re have it f further kind of sit down in the background so it's not kind of yelling at us, great way to do that is just reduce down the opacity. So what will happen then, it'll pick up some of the colors in the background, but it'll make it seem as if it almost thins a little bit more or becomes even quieter. So you can see with, uh, let's duplicate the line here really quickly. You can see the difference. You know, let's bring this way down just for effect as opposed to full opacity. So just how loud this white line is because it doesn't have that transparency. So if you want to further have it sit down, consider reducing the transparency of that as well. So we put one line there, copy and paste it so I can duplicate it. Control C, Control V, remembering you can do that inside of Canva place them around my title and there we have it we have a some really nice refined thin lines simply by increasing or scaling it down widening it scaling it down widening it scaling it down until you get the thickness that you want simple easy and effective cheers to great looking work